In the previous tutorial, we discussed about data types, some basic arithmetic operations, and type conversion. In this one, we will talk about variables, strings, and some of its basic operations. So let's begin. In any programming language, variable plays a crucial role and Python is no exception. A variable allows you to store a value which can be used later in a program. Variables can be reassigned as many times as you want. The best thing is that variable doesn't require to be declared with a specific data type. So initially, if you use a variable to store an integer, then you can reuse that variable for string as well. You can use letter, number and underscore to declare a variable. But you cannot start with a number. It will give you a syntax error. Also remember that Python is case sensitive language and hence this being and this being are two different variable names in Python. You can also take value of variable from user input. If you try to reference a variable that you haven't assigned yet, then it will give you an error. However, if you try to access a assigned variable after deleting it using this del command, then once again, error. The text parts can be done using string which is created between two single or double quotation marks. Some characters known as escape characters can't be directly included in string, like single quote in a single quote string, causing it to end prematurely. The same goes for double quote. This can be avoided using the backslash before that particular character. Python provides an easy way to avoid manually writing slash n to escape new lines in a string. So as you can see, we are writing a string with three sets of quotes and a new line is created automatically by pressing enter. When it comes to operations, we can add two strings, which is known as concatenation. We have previously shown that 2 plus 3 gives us 23, since it is in string. But adding a string to a number will always give you an error. Strings can be multiplied by integers, producing a repeated version of the same string. So here also, 4 times 2 is 2222. Of course, you can't multiply two strings, nor can you multiply a string with a float. So that's it for this tutorial, I hope you have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the next video. Until then, bye.